GPT Store just launched. This is the same as when Chrome extension, if we went back in the day and imagine the Chrome extension store was just about to launch or the WordPress plugin store was just about to launch or the app store on your iPhone was just about to launch. So it's a really big moment in time. It's a historical moment that we're actually seeing happen kind of in front of us where in a few days is going to be happening. There was an email that OpenAI sent out and I think everybody got this email, but it basically goes, hey, dear GPT builder, we want to let you know that we will be launching the GPT store next week. If you're interested in sharing your GPT in the store, you'll need to. And then they gave instructions for it. Okay. Now, if you're interested and curious how to make yours, I'll also show you and walk you through that. But what's important for you to know is that this is an opportunity for you to learn, have fun mostly. Okay. Because I'll show you something funny, which is how much money do developers make? And there's a funny slash sad Reddit I found because we talk a lot about how much money you could make, right? But there's also another side of the truth, which is there are a lot of developers who are not making money. So there's a Reddit here where it's like, Hey, how much money do you earn with your apps? Somebody commented. And then look at these comments, right? You got people going about a negative thousand. Sounds about right. Negative 1000 per day or per month in two years. And so, and it, this guy got a lot of upvotes. So that tells you that there's a lot of people who are failing and not able to make money with coding, but this is just the truth with everything in life. Most people are losers. Most people will not win. Most people by definition will be average. So there will be a few who will just take it fucking all. And so the question is, are you one of them or are you one of the others? And I hope that if you're watching my channel, you're not a fucking loser, you're a winner. And that's my belief in myself. And I hope you believe that in you too, because I believe in you. All right. So let's go back to this. Okay. Now let's say you wanted to build your own GPT. Well, here's how you could actually do it. There's a very simple process. So if you actually went to chat GPT, you could build your own bot. And uh, right now, at least in the UI, there's an explore button that you could click, right? And then after you go to the explore button, you click create a GPT. It's in beta version now, but pretty soon it won't be. And it could be whatever. For example, one of the ones I made because I sent out a lot of emails is I made an email crafter and that's just for me. And it does makes my email writing easier because it understands how I write emails. Uh, another bot that I actually recently built is this clever programmer one. And I actually use it all the time because something I hate about ChatGPT is every single time I try to talk to it, you've probably experienced this too. It gives you a lot of random explanations. It gives you disclaimers. You'll be like, Hey, what's five plus five? And it will be like, I'm not a mathematician or a lawyer, but five plus five is equal to 10. And here's a disclaimer. Do your own research. Look up on Google because answers in different countries based on if you're Europe or Canada might be different. And you're like, what the fuck, dude? Like, just shut the fuck up. Give me 10. And so I can just go on my way, right? That's what you want. That's what I want. And so I, I usually hate regular chat GPT because it's so verbose and disclaimery and long sentence. And I just want things like when I ask it, how many calories are in, you know, how many calories do I burn with 500 steps? Don't need something long. Just give me something like a thousand calories, something 200 calories, something that's direct. So what I did is I made my own bot clever programmer. And what that does, I'm not promoting my own bot, by the way, so just relax. But what this bot does is it is very direct and concise. I just taught it, Hey, I want you to just give short, direct, concise answers and don't drag shit out. Keep it simple. Keep it succinct and keep it to the point. Just that's it. Don't give long explanations unless explicitly asked. And whenever users ask, give them the full code. Don't hide snippets of code. And that's baked into it at the core level, which means now whenever I use ChatGPT and I use this bot, all my answers are super short and direct. 
So really valuable chatbot that I made in probably five minutes. And now I can link it to anybody and people can use it, right? So that way you can make your own bots as well, okay? So you make your bot. And then this is what the bot builder looks like. It's pretty simple. What's cool is you don't even have to do any complicated stuff. Like you don't even have to fill out like this form that you see here. You don't even have to do any of that. You just talk to this bot builder over here and what you want it to do. You, you're like, make sentences short and boom. It puts it, it writes a description for you. It automatically writes the instructions for you. It writes the conversation starts for you. It writes the name of the bot for you. It even updates the profile picture uh, of the bot for you. Like it even, like this is a, for example, from a clever programmer bot. I mean, how cool is that? It, it makes it look so cool and it has the cue because Kazi, Kazi, I called it the Kazi bot. So it took this AI photo where uh, it made it look like this nice little cue, which is super cool. So it does everything for you, like creates all the marketing branding material, right? So how nice of a time is this that to build your own app, you just say some stuff. You don't have to even write code. You don't have to go through the Swift Apple market and SDK and fight the Chrome extension store. Just do it in one go. Okay. Now, what's the benefit of all this? Why would we even do this? Well, check this out, right? Here's an example of Chrome extensions. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's important to kind of get the picture of this. Like what's the opportunity there for the ones who would take it all? Here's the opportunity. Here's an example of eight Chrome extensions with impressive revenue. And these are by indie developers, okay? So somebody decided to make an app. Well, here are some crazy apps. So these are ridiculous, but Grammarly is a Chrome extension, by the way. They raised $90 million and they are $1 billion valuation. Chrome extension. Uh, GMAS, okay, another Chrome extension. These guys are making about $130,000 per month. So that's, do the math, but well over $1 million per year. You got another app in the Chrome store, which is Closet Tools. These guys make $42,000 per month. And check it out. It's an extension that helps users automate posting on the fashion reselling marketplace Poshmark. I mean, could you be any more niche? Like what the, like this is the craziest niche I've seen. And at $30 per month, they're making $42,000 per month. Doesn't it make you ask like, what are we doing? <laughs> like, why aren't we building more Chrome extensions, right? And there's so many more CSS scan. It helps you scan and modify rules, CSS rules on web pages, 100,000. Go full page, 10,000 per month. Screen capture app, screen capture app that just lets you screen capture a full page, 10,000 per month. That is 120,000 per year off of a screen capture app. Point and click web scraper, 10K in two months, right? And there's so many more black magic 3k per month. This is a little tool for Twitter that helps users with Twitter. Okay. Weather extension 2,500 per month. I mean, ridiculous, right? Absolutely ridiculous. So this is an example of just with Chrome extensions, what's happening. Now you're looking at chat GPT, which probably would even have more users than almost anything might have more users than actually Chrome. And all those people building apps on there, uh, and, and mostly a lot of those people are users. So imagine you build something that a lot of these users could use. It would be life changing for you, right? It could bring in a lot of revenue for you. So my recommendation to you is start learning chat GPT, start learning how to build apps with AI because you can be part of, you know, the gold shovel fireship in his videos, uh, tongue in cheek also talks about the gold shovel, right? Selling the gold shovel. And he's like, you can make a million per month, which is, I know he did it in humor, but 
you might not be the person that might make a million per month, but you don't, you might also not need to be, right? Would you be happy if your app made $3,000 a month or $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month, $15,000 a month? A lot of people would be very happy. And more, more importantly than even that, just think about the skill that you get out of it. Think about how it looks on your resume and your portfolio that you're trying to build this and just how fun it is to be a part of something so new that is happening right now. Here's what I would say, okay? Explore this, learn it, because I think the opportunity is huge. If you want to be part of my community, part of all the people that are learning AI and ChatGPT and building incredible apps and actually even selling these apps that are part of my community in the course Profit with AI and ChatGPT, I've put together an incredible free training for you that shows you your AI and ChatGPT apps that you could build right now. I'll give you three ideas for free of apps you could use right now. And I'll show you how you can monetize it in your own life and do that now. So if that sounds interesting to you, I've put together a very short 19 minute free training for you. And if you click the link in the description below, just pop in your name, your email, and there's a live training that I'm gonna be doing. And so if you join it, I'm gonna be there giving you the training live that will be super valuable to you okay and i think it has the potential to change your life especially with chat gpt store coming out in a few days if you watch it now it could give you the lens to look at the world from where you can be one of the people that could be actually extracting value out of this and be one of the people that could be in the 100k you know hopefully the 130k per month category but again, even if you're not 10K a month, 5K a month, all of that is a substantial amount. So if that's exciting to you and you want to learn how to build apps with ChatGPT and AI, click the link below, watch that training. I love your face and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.